Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to use the roughing operation. So we've already done a facing operation right here. Now let's go ahead and do a roughing operation for, so we can get it ready basically for the finishing operation afterwards. No, so we can rough up to rough up the part. We're going to use uh, the same tool that we've used in our previous exercise for the facing, and we're going to use it to the top over here. And that's to quickly get rid of a lot of material before you start machining your part. Now, remember, we're going to be machining. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This area right here, so starting with this line all the way to this line right here, we're going to remove all the material on top as a roughing. So we're going to create a roughing pass, uh, machining, and then we'll create a finishing pass after we're done with that. So to get started on that, let's go over here to Toolpath, and let's go to Rough. Now, you're going to see a bunch of options. If you have uh, seen the milling uh, section, you'll uh, milling uh, tutorial that we've created uh, previously to this and which I highly recommend you watch before watching this one because you will learn a lot of things in, de in details. Uh, you want to have partial chaining selected and what that means is that we're not if you have full chain selected that means it will machine all around the part but we're only machining from over here to over here so it's only a chain that we're using. We're not chaining all around the part we're only machining on the top half of it, or basically uh, uh, just the out, out OD of it. But we're only roughing. So let's do a chain. Let's click on the first uh, counter that we want, and then just click on the last line that we want it to end to. And as you can see, the green arrow indicates the start point. The red arrow indicates the end point. So it's going to start right here, and it's going to end right here. And that's exactly what we want to do. So let's go ahead and click on the check mark and the dialog box up here for the lathe rough properties. Now we're going to keep the same tool as we did before. And we're, let's keep go ahead and keep all the settings over here the same. For the comment, just to help out others who will be viewing this, uh, we're going to call this roughing. Roughing the part. And let's go over here to roughing parameters. Now for roughing parameters, Everything is basically very self-explanatory. Overlap, this will allow it to overlap the part, uh, the toolpath a little bit, just to give it, it will basically make it easier on the finishing part if you have it checked, so we're going to keep that on overlap. Depth to cut, we're going we're gonna to do the depth to cut to about 0 0.05 inches. It's going to be half our, how much we're going to cut off from the top of the part. Minimum cut depth is going to be... Uh, one thou or uh, yep, it's going to be one thousand. The stock to leave in the x-axis, we're going to keep it at ten thou. Stock to leave in the z-axis, we're going to keep that at ten thou as well. Remember, we're going to do a finishing move afterward, so you want to you you want to leave about ten thou uh, to do the the finishing before you're done. Now the entry amount, we're going to keep that as a uh, hundred thou. Uh, from the part, this way it's not trying to machine anything, it's not trying to machine anything on the right side, we've already done the facing operation. Now for the cutting method, we're going to use one way, which means the tool will come over here and then to the top, come back, come over from the right to the top. If we use the zigzag operation, the zigzag is going to go back and forth, which will actually break our part, so we do not want to do that. Roughing direction and angle, we're going to keep that at OD, but you have, a ch you have the options to change it to ID, face, or back but we're going to keep it to OD since we are machining the OD of the part. You also have the chance to set up the angle for this. We're going to keep it at zero. Compensation type, we're going to leave Messerchem to compute the toolpath for it, so that's where the computer is selected. There's also other options that we'll be learning in uh, next sessions and exercises. Compensation direction, we're going to keep that right, which means the tool will be on the right side of the tool toolpath. Roll cutter uh, around sharp co around corners. It's set up and all, but we're going to change that to sharp, which means it will only roll the cutter around sharp corners. Now there's a semi finish lead and lead in lead out. Semi finish we'll be learning in another exercise. Let's go ahead and click on lead in lead out, and this will help you lead in and lead out how your tool comes into your part and leaves your part. So we're going to leave lead in the same way, but let's change the lead out. Now the lead out, this will tell you the resolution over here. It will tell you the degrees that the, that the part leaves your tool, uh, that your tool leaves your part. So it will leave it at a 45 degree angle to the top right. 
Now let's click on extend and let's change the amount by quarter of an inch. I think I have two dots over here. I'm going to delete one of them and keep it at extend. And this will extend or shorten the end of the counter. So at the end of the counter will go quarter of an inch before it leaves or enters the part. This one, I'm sorry, before it leaves the part. So it's going to keep going and it's going to go a little bit further, which is a quarter of an inch, before it leaves your part. So let's go ahead and click on the check mark. Now we'll learn the exit uh, vector and a lot of these options as we go in exercises. I don't want to tell you every single little detail about every option. This way you're not getting jammed up with information that you that don't have anything to do with this tutorial and you get very confused about it. So we're going to keep everything the same. Keep angle at 45 degrees. Click on the OK button and let's click on the check mark. So now it shows you a little toolpath and it's pretty cool. It shows you how your, there we go, it shows you how your tool, now, your geometry changes, your uh, stock changes to match your tool. And if I zoom in, you can see that that's a 10 thou that's left onto the part because of the finishing. And you can see that's a quarter of an inch that the tool goes out quarter of an inch before it rechecks out. Now, if you actually hold Alt and click on T, you will see your toolpath. So if you're in, in the previous session, I know you didn't see your toolpath. I'm going to click on fit the screen so you can see your toolpath a little bit better. So now you see your toolpath from the facing operation and your toolpath from your um, roughing operation. So let's go ahead and uh, hit make it into isometric. Let's go ahead and uh, back plot and verify your part. So I'm going to back plot it. So now you can see your lathe finish and then lathe roughing. And let's go ahead and verify my part and make sure that it works correctly. So I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to keep it the same, maybe make it a little bit faster. And then go ahead and click on machine and let's see what happens. So there's your facing operation. And then there's your facing tool doing your roughing passes onto the top of the part. So as you can see, it does your first first section over here and now it's going to do this second section at an angle. Now we have it set up as a little bit slow, so it's going to do your machining. And over here at the bottom, it shows the percentage of how long till it's done. So it's got 97% done. It's almost done, and there you go. So there you go. Your part is finished over here. If I can click on front or back, and I can see actually my part being machined and done. So there's your geometry of the part. If I want to double check on it, I can go back to my drawing and look at it and say, oh, okay, it's doing the right thing. But remember, we're not done with this geometry. We still gotta finish our part. We still gotta uh, finish our part after doing the roughing. So there we go. We learned in this exercise how to do the roughing before doing the finishing. In the next ex exercise, we will learn how to do the finishing toolpath.